the confounding mystery that is autism. We know eye contact can be an indicator of risk in young children, but now researchers at Emory University say it is possible newborns can send a subtle warning that they might have trouble ahead. ABC's chief medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, explains. Children with autism don't read emotions or faces well. But how could a baby tell you that? Watch where the baby's eyes go. That's the key to today's autism study. At Emory University, eye tracking software shows what this little guy is looking at. Where the X is, that's his focus. What this study shows us is that there are changes already happening that wouldn't be detectable to the naked eye. They studied a group of 36 children, starting at just two months old. Three years later, they found out which ones were diagnosed with autism. Turns out the children with autism by six months old spent less and less time looking at the eyes. The bigger the change, the more profound the autism was. The earlier we diagnose, the earlier we intervene, the better the long-term outcome. Previous research in Boston had used eye tracking to show that babies take emotional cues from faces, from eyes. What Emmett is seeing is three different facial emotions, neutral, happy, and fear. We know older children with autism don't make eye contact. Now technology has given us a way to identify autism's earliest clues. You know, what's really exciting about this research is the possibility of detecting autism before a parent or a doctor sees any signs. You know, as a pediatrician, I'd never be able to see these subtle signs, but this eye tracking can do that. Ah, uh, but Rich, you're gonna have so many fearful parents tonight studying their tiny children, looking in their eyes for every move. Yeah, I, I wanna give them reassurance. You know, little babies, they're looking all over the place. What they're looking here is at subtle changes, the percentage of time that they're looking at various parts of the face. It's not something that is a parent you're going to be able to see and your your child's doctor is going to be screening your child all along the way for the real signs so do not make any assumptions about what you are seeing don't do that okay no. thank you richard